Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Future Coders. Today, in this video, we are going to be building this random password generator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yeah, let's have a look at what exactly are we going to be building. So, we there we have our random password generator. So, if I click on generate password, every time I click on this generate password button, it generates a new random password, as you can see. Yeah, this is what we are going to be building in this video. If you haven't watched our previous JavaScript project videos, please make sure you watch those videos. And also don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's start building this. So let's start by our HTML first. So Inside this, we are going to have a div with the class name of password container. So inside this password container, we are going to have an S2 saying random password generator. So right uh, below this uh, 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 heading, so we are going to have a button with an ID of generate button which is going to say generate password and right below that we are going to have an input which is going to display that so input password input yes and type is text and it's going to be only read only all right all right there we have our html part done and now let's move on to the css so CSS, let's uh, target the body. I will set the background color as this color, which I use every time. This is just a light grayish color. And uh, now max width is going to be 900 pixels, margin 0 and auto, so that we center everything. All right, let, now let's target the password container. Let's actually copy the, yes, this thing entire container so password container so for this i will set text align to the center yeah that's great margin um 3.5 rm to the top and bottom and auto to the left and right uh let's do background color as white and uh, padding all around as 2 rm yes and uh, as usual, I will be using this box shadow which I got from the internet. It actually looks nice as you can see a light box shadow. Now let's target the generate button where I have given this ID. Let's go ahead and target that. So for the generate button, not these brackets, yeah, these brackets. So let's do padding of 0.5 rem to the top and bottom and 1rm to the left and right and font size let's make it as 1rm and background color i will be uh, having this color for caef50 yeah this grayish color color of the text should be white and outline let's remove the outline none and border to none all right there we have and uh, let's also make the cursor as pointer so that whenever we hone on it it actually converts the pointer to as you can see cursor as you can see the pointer yeah all right now let's target the input uh, that is read only we have given an id as password input so let's target that so password input width of uh, that is going to be 10 rm and uh, height let's make it 1 rm and font size of 1 rm right and uh, margin to the top of let's make it 0.5 rm all right and uh, let's also add a padding of 0.5 rm all around yeah that actually looks good now let's add border one pixel solid this color yep and let's do border radius of 0.5 rm all right there we have completed the css part as well so 
the only thing that is left now is generate password and we also need to add a on click event listener uh, yeah on click event listener so whenever i click on this generate password it generates a new random password and display this so display it over here there so let's move on to the script file let's get the dom element so here i need generate button i can get that by going in the document dot get element by id and for those i have given the id right that's going to be generate button let's add that over here all right one more is going to be that password input you can get that by going in the document dot get element by id and let's grab the id yeah that's going to be the password input so password input that's there we have all the dom elements so let's write our function generate password so inside this let's add a password variable which is going to be empty for now we are going to fill it so the possible let's do another variable for possible so what all the things we can add in the password so that thing we are going to add it now so that's going to be a string yeah it's going to contain all the letters from capital letters to small letters and all the numbers all the special characters so these are the all, all the possible things that uh, that can con that can a password contain right so yeah let's add a for loop for, for let i equal to zero and i is less than eight that's because we are going to create a password which is of length eight and let's do i plus plus so inside so we need to fill up the password right so plus equals to so password so what we can do is possible dot let's write the inner thing first all right so let's uh, we need to get a, a random um, index of these uh string right so what you can do is we can do mat dot random and call this so mat dot random generates a number random number between 0 to 1 right so in order to generate a, a random number between the length of the string so we need to just multiply it by possible dot length so it's length all right so this thing actually returns a floating point number so what we can do is we can just use mat dot floor to wrap this around so that it returns a whole number all right now we are getting an index random index random index which we can just pass it to the possible and get a random uh, character that add which is present at that index so let's do that so possible dot char at we can we'll grab the character which is at that index and store it inside password that's it guys all right that's what we have to do in the password so here in the password input i will add the value as the password which is generated all right and the final thing that is left now is we need to add an event listener add event listener which is going to be of the click so we need to just call this function and we're done with this and yeah let's have a look at the demo yeah if i click on generate password as you can see it generates a new random password every time i click it generates a new random password all right guys that's it for this video and if you are looking for the source code of this project as usual let's head over to futurecodersweb.com and there you will find this article uh, how to make a random password generator you can click on that this is a, a well written article which you can actually follow and uh, complete this project you can see i uh, have added all the html css and javascript code also and you can also download the source code by clicking on this download button all right guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video and if you haven't smashed that like button then please make sure you smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you haven't looked at or watched our previous videos 
which are completely based on javascript projects so please make sure you watch those which are actually helpful for the beginners to learn about javascript and explore javascript so yeah that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye